You see you, Babsy? <laughs> you could block me any day. Hey, block me right there. Block me right here. Block me right here. Babsy block me every day. Yo, Babsy block <laughs> every day. Hey, what's up everybody? Babsy's in the building. Did you see the little intro ting 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 that was going on there? Well, that is my boy's from Foresight Video, their name is Dan Roy Hunt and Earl Fraser. They made that little intro for me because we're gonna start bringing some graphics to my um, videos and stuff because I'm the only blogger that really doesn't have like all this wicka 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 thing going on. Like I just be like record, blog, freestyle, one drop, gun. You know what I mean? For those of you who don't believe, like yeah, it's just like a one and gun thing. So you'll see me sneeze and you'll see me scratch my armpit and thing in the video because it's just like yeah, we just do it that way. But we're gonna start bringing some graphics foresight videos what their name is and they're on Facebook they um, you know do videos for events pictures at events um, they do graphic stuff so check them out they're really really cool I love them so if you fuck around them I will kill you you understand what I mean let me don't talk about killing people because cartel gone jail you hear what I say but before I start talking about cartel the people have been all over me over this hair they're like Babsy what color is that this hair is very very long it is 24 inches long. It is Brazilian straight virgin is how I got it. It was brown when I got it. I dyed it um, this color. It is Igora. That's the brand name of the dye. And it is color 488. And, um, you know, you have to use a little bit more expensive um, dyes to make your hair look a certain way. You know, the little dark and lovely box that you can get for $3.99 that bleeds when you wash it. You want to kind of stay away from that stuff. Stuff. And plus, it doesn't really look the same when when you dye it. Like if you see this, like white women at the gas station, it's like, oh my god, your hair. Oh. So yeah, that's what's going on here. Twenty four inches, Brazilian straight, virgin dyed Igora four eighty eight. Sorry, fellas, I had to get into that because the women hounded me. Actually, some fellas was hounding me too, but that's another story. Um, Vibes Cartel, you know that he got sentenced to um. 35 years in jail a uh, hard labor and so I don't know what hard labor is because I don't live in Jamaica but me hard labor is like when I gotta cut the grass and outside is hot that is hard labor for me so I would I would only imagine what the hell they gonna got he cutting sugar cane like what are you gonna be doing with cartel um a lot of people have been messaging me Babsy what do you think what do you think what do you think what do you think and Carla doesn't really care because my thing is yo stay out of trouble and you won't be in trouble but Babsy the blogger everybody wants to know my opinion on the situation and the thing is I do have an opinion So said let me just come and share it once and shut my mouth about this going forward. Um, I really feel that um after hearing the voice notes, something has to be wrong with Cartel. Like, it's not connecting in the brain somewhere. Because he sounded like Nino Brown from New Jack City when I heard the voice notes. Like, yo, me, I got to kill him. Mama, and baka, baka. I'm like, bro, it's two guns. Calm down. You know what I'm saying? And um, I really feel like a goat cunt of the decade is Sean Storm. Because after listening to them voice notes, it's come to my conclusion that Cartel didn't even like Sean Storm. He doesn't even sound like he liked him. He's like, yo, Sean, I'm off a pay me back. You know what I mean? So now Sean Storm is spending 25 years in jail for a man that don't even like him. Like, guys, heights, figure out who your friends are. Because many of you running around here who are going to come and cuss me upon this video actually like people that don't like you. That is the unfortunate thing. And I've always preached about this from day one. Be very sure who you like because they might not like your ass. Um... Next thing, some things that I saw people saying and people were saying to me how it was not fair. They said that, you know, police in Jamaica murder people every day and they don't go to jail. My thing is, you can't expect to let cartel walk free because of all the other bullshit going on in Jamaica. You need to make a start. So my belief is, put everybody who's murdering the people in jail. Why let cartel walk free? Because the others are walking free. No, no, don't let the others walk free. Take back your society into your hands and put their asses in jail. That's the way I see it. I don't see it like reverse, like, okay, well, let him go because this other police officer, he didn't go to jail and all this stuff. I don't know. Like, how are you going to plan to get your society back on track if you're going to let all the murderers run around the place? You know what I'm saying? Um, 
Next thing, um, I don't even believe Clive Lizard is dead, to be honest. Um, and that's the sad thing about it. I'm kind of like, look, Clive Lizard is chilling somewhere in Trelawney. You know what I mean? Like, he's scared to death. And that's what I think. People might be like, I'm crazy, but I don't know. I just get this feeling that um, Lizard is not dead. And lastly, this whole talk about Dancehall being in jail. I don't know. I find that to be a real disrespectful comment. Um, there's a lot of artists that are out there that do good stuff and they do good music and, and, and they do well. I don't understand how one person could be an entire genre of music. That sounds crazy. That's like, oh, Michael Jackson is dead. There's no more pop. Like, it's just one person. You know what I mean? And, and, and realistically, Dancehall is not in jail. Um, I think enough of your minds are in jail. The problem with Dancehall right now is not cartel being in jail. It's about the things that are happening and the, and the, and the bad mind and bullshit going on in the industry. Why? the dancehall industry is in trouble. Um, you know, when I see things like Alkaline, and I'm in Jamaica, and I'm hearing Alkaline on the radio, left, right, and center, I'm like, how did this motherfucker get on radio? He don't even sound good. And it's like, his army paying this DJ and paying that DJ and paying this. That's the problem with dancehall. The problem is the good people are not getting recognition. The shit people have the money and they're buying their way in. You understand what I'm saying? Like back in the day, Alkaline couldn't even carry Terror Fabulous's water bottle to a dance. Like he couldn't even change Terror Fabulous's tire. Like on his car, if it went flat, like he couldn't even be in the crew. You know what I'm saying? But like, dance halls just slipped into this hole and it's just like, yeah, like, okay, so I'm paying so-and-so DJ so my song's gonna get forward. And then the people's minds are in jail. So when they hear so-and-so DJ say that this tune shot, they can't hear that the man is off key. They can't hear that the man is singing a bunch of cut about down in your throat and all kind of thing. Sorry, Gage, because we got the same hair color. But anyhow, these guys be singing a lot of shit but they're getting forward because they're manipulating the minds of the goats of the people. So, like, who are you blaming, Cartel, or you got to blame the DJs that are just really fucking up the industry? Because, you know, I look at even in, in, in like, Soka, it, it happens all over the world. Like, people are buying their way into things, and they suck. You know what I'm saying? And you got to give the people with the talent the, the room to come forward. And the people who have the talent need to know what to do with the talent. Cartel is extremely talented, but he didn't know what to do with it. Mike Tyson, Allen Iverson, you know what I mean? Like, it seems to be a man problem, to be honest. Well, Tony Braxton, but she had my, uh, yeah. But anyhow, my thing is this. The people with the talent need to step forward. The people who are corrupting the industry need to fall back. And that's who needs to go to jail. The DJs that are on the radios spewing a lot of shit because they're getting paid. You know what I mean? You're not helping your industry by putting forward alkalines and this kind of music. That music is not dancehall. You know what I'm saying? That music is not going to pass Montego Bay Airport. And when people out here start to hear it, they're like, that's what these motherfuckers in Jamaica sing. And that's why white folks in, in, in Germany doing dance hall. And all these people are starting to do it because they're like, well, the Jamaicans slipping. So let's take over. And it's not that the Jamaicans are slipping. It's that the people in the industry are fucking the industry up. And that's really what I had to say. Um, I'm not really sticking about here too long because I got things to do. But uh, people are gone. I hope you feel good now that I've commented on Cartel. Because to tell you the truth, I ain't going to comment again. Um, you know, as I said, like a lot of people are losing in this situation. Sean Storm is the biggest loser to me. Um, but you know, other people, they're losing their father, they're losing their whatever. And before I go, I want to say this, you're not a product of your environment. You're a product of your own mind. You're a product of your own mentality. Um, your environment can only go so far into your own self, but you have to understand in your own mind, right from wrong. And you know, yes, some of you have idiot parents and some of you, you know, might not have started on the best foot in life, but as some point you need to internalize things within yourself and aim for better you know I grew up in Malvern when I grew up in Malvern I don't mean the Malvern that it is now that you know they got little houses and everything cute I grew up in Malvern when I'm going to school and man's getting shot and then man's driving from the passenger side of his car shooting back I'm at the gas station and a guy's underneath his car being shot at I've been through all of that so I'm not talking like I heard through the grapevine I was actually there but those things may 
made me realize that I don't want to go down that road. I don't want to go down that path. Uh, a gunman and, and, and gun violence is not appealing. And I don't know why we as West Indian people, especially and black people, because it happens in the States, niggas with attitude and shooting up this and that and whatever. It's not the way to go. You're going to end up dead or you're going to end up in jail. And I hope that many of you take this lesson from Vibes Cartel and realize you could be the most talented motherfucker on the planet. But if you engage in bullshit, you're going to go to prison or you're going to end up dead. I hope you guys really take heed to this case. And start to aim for better in your life. And if you don't know how to aim for better, look at the people who are doing better. And stop bad-minding them and take lessons from them. Because as much as you cuss me, I can travel. I don't have a criminal record. I'm not going in no store and stealing nobody's hair, stealing nobody's clothes. I help who I can help. I do the best that I can. Am I perfect? No. But I'm not going to go and do something that's illegal because, you know what, it's cool or the rest of the people are doing it. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my boy mega don the other day at a birthday party and he was asking me why i don't drink and i said to him because the block is hot and he started laughing but if many of you all started to think about the block being hot and keeping your brain on and stop being high and drunk a lot of you you would not end up in a lot of the problems that your life end up in fix the problem because smoking weed and and drinking is not going to make you wake up the next day and your problem is going to be fixed you're going to have a headache, you're going to be vomiting, and the problem is still going to be there. Try and height and aim for better. That's all I can tell you. Anyhow, people, listen to the song going out. Bad mind are gone later. Well, every day a bad mind sit on power near. What, what, what you flexing at the street? Cause bad man, we broke your neck. So less than a dollar, them will make you dope your neck. Be careful of the guns, them with them, you just select. Just like a TM dick, them will make your life eject. Chant a song when you step, you no bad afraid. A good over evil, life over dead. Them fire shot in the can, they cover me, and them can collect. Them never get me to the real when them send them dead, man. Them can't stop my bread, bad mind. Won't we stop?